Cara Douglas joins us now from Parliament House. Cara, Premier and Treasurer, Lara Giddings certainly has a lot on her plate. She certainly does, Peter. Now, Lara Giddings said today that she's chosen to remain as Treasurer because the economy is the biggest challenge ahead. She said that Tasmanians need to accept that there's a new post-global financial crisis reality, that there's reduced revenue, so that means reduced expenses. Now, the ABC has confirmed that as Treasurer, Lara Giddings met with department heads on Thursday and she told them that the budget will be difficult and that there will be public sector job cuts. Now, she wouldn't be drawn on that today, but she certainly didn't rule it out. Now, there's one interesting thing to note there. She said that any decisions made regarding the mid-year financial review will have the support of the full Cabinet. She said the Greens ministers are well aware of the state's financial position and any decisions made will have the support of the Labor Green Cabinet. We're starting to get used to midterm changes of leadership in Tasmania. The opposition says it's a sign of more instability. What's the change mean for the state's minority government? Well, it actually looks like it's going to be business as usual. Now, the Greens will keep their existing portfolio, so there's no change there. And Nick McKim says that Lara Giddings has his full support as Premier. So while we, while we do have this change in leadership, effectively the government will continue as it has since the March state election.